Well, I'll lay good morning to you, my friends. I've got my cheat sheet in front of me today because I want to make sure that I stay on target and I can speak quickly and uh, share with you what I think the Lord has laid on my heart. But today, of course, is one, two, two, one. One, two, two, one. And that's kind of poetic for numbers-oriented people, but for the rest of us, it simply means that today is the second day of the new year 2021. And so, are you ready for a new year? <laughs> of course you are. Of course we are. We have the author of days, years, and eternity going before us and leading us into the unknown. The God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and Moses and Elijah and all of the prophets, the Father of Jesus and the God of the Apostle Paul. He is our creator and defender, our light and our salvation so as David asked in the Psalms, whom shall we fear? That, my friends, is what they call a rhetorical question. And I have another question for you. A question this early in the year, Rob? Come on, we haven't even really woken up. Well, yes, sir, and yes, ma'am. Here's my question. Have you made a plan for getting into the Word of God so that the Word of God can get into you? You know, we make arrangements for eating physically, well, have you made arrangements for spiritual nutrition? The good news is that you can never overeat when you feed on the Word of God. You know, you make a resolution for a physical diet, if necessary, but never make a resolution for a spiritual one. So I want to challenge you to not make a resolution for a spiritual diet in the sense of cutting things out. I want you to make a resolution the opposite way, to allow the Word of God into your spiritual mouth, so to speak, so that you can feed your soul. Heaven and earth, Jesus said, will pass away, but my Word will never pass away. So consume all of the eternal food that you can, because it will stick to your spiritual ribs into and throughout all of eternity. Another question for you. Another question? Yeah, another question. Do you want to be more like Jesus in 2021? And that may be, you may say, well, that's a ridiculous question, or that in itself is a rhetorical question, because I hope that you are nodding your head and shouting, yes, I want to be more like Jesus. I mean, Jesus did say, right, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. So I love Jesus. I want to be like him. I want to live like Jesus because being like Jesus is our daily purpose. Well, here's the truth. You cannot obey Jesus until you know how Jesus thought and until you know how Jesus lived. And you cannot know how Jesus thought and lived without learning from the Word of God. If you want to be more like Jesus, if you want to obey Jesus, then you must become a Bible learner. And that, by the way, is what the Bible calls being a disciple of Jesus, learning from the Word so that I can live and act like Jesus. I hope that you will find at least a good devotional to use for this year. But don't merely read devotional thoughts that someone else wrote about the Bible. Don't just read books about the book. Use a devotional plan that will lead you into the Scripture itself. Read the book <laughs> itself. And so I have a simple challenge for you for the cold winter month of January that I believe will bring fire and warmth to your soul. The Gospel of John has 21 chapters. Now, if you begin on Monday, January 4th, that's two days from today, you can read one chapter a day on the weekdays, Monday through Friday. That's 20 days for 20 chapters. Now, when you get to the end of each chapter, don't just merely close your Bible I want you to just stop and whisper a short prayer, something like, 
Lord, what do you learn? What do you want me to learn about Jesus from what I just read? And then allow the Lord to identify some fortifying meat from your spiritual meal. You may even just go back in and just peruse it and read a couple of the verses to say, what truth can I learn about Jesus here? Now, depending on your reading ability and the chapter length, this should take no more than 20 minutes, 20 minutes out of your day to feed your soul. It's not much. Now, on Sundays, you can hear the word preached, either online or in person, so you don't have to read a chapter from the Gospel of John on Sundays, unless you're an overeater. <laughs> then go ahead. Eat all you want. You can never overeat. And so you say, okay, Rob, that's 20 chapters of John's Gospel, but what about chapter 21? Well, it's simple enough. Either read the final chapter of John's Gospel when you read chapter 20, or you can read the final chapter four times by reading it once each Saturday. It, it, you know, be flexible. It's your spiritual meal, so just eat it whenever you choose. The important thing is to eat spiritual food, to get into the Word of God and allow the Word of God to get into you. And so I hope that you'll continue to eat from the Word throughout the year. Let the Holy Spirit strengthen your spirit each day as you journey with the Lord through 2021. Got it? I hope that wasn't too fast. God bless you.